Hello, hello. Dr. Mundal here. I wanted to get you caught up on the project I've been working on recently. You guys seem to like that video that I did about the handbags and purses. I've been diligently working on finishing up handbags and purses so that I can sell them either on my Etsy shop or outside of my Etsy shop. Uh, so the doll that I've been working on, or doll purse I should say, that I've been working on today is this one, the Conjoined Twin Witch Purse. And they even have an equivalent, uh, as far as witchcraft, Wicca, uh, the tradition, different gods and goddesses, um, they have a tradition, they have a, I mean, they have a specific um, god and goddess that is conjoined, is a conjoined twin. I can't remember the name of the god or goddess. Hold on, let me think I have that book where I can reference it in just a second. So I was unable to find the god or goddess that's the conjoined twin. Um, I'll look that up and I'll come back to you with more information on it. But there is, within the Vodou tradition, there is a conjoined twin uh, goddess, I believe. And I'm sure that's that way in all traditions, like I've said before, that um, the gods and goddesses may have different names, but they have similar attributes. Like I mentioned in the video that I did about Oya, um, I was talking about how in different cultures, like say for instance, Vodou, Haitian Vodou, they um, use the name Brigitte, and in um, Christ uh, not Christianity, in Celtic mythology, Brigitte is Bridget, and she represents the maiden mother and the crone. So, um, so too, there's just so many different gods and goddesses that um, are similar throughout the world. So it's kind of interesting. It makes you feel like that maybe we did, you know, mix up a lot earlier than most people would think. But um, those are kind of things I think of when I make these type of, do these type of projects. Uh, this is coming along really well. What I've been working on steadfastly is the, um, is the strap. <laughs> I'm still waking up. I just woke up. But this is the strap that I've been working on, and I've been pretty much like using this fabric to make the strap, because <clears throat> I really like this fabric. It's a really nice fabric that I found, which I talked about on another video. <laughs> so yeah, I pretty much got the dolls established. There's a little bit more work I should do on the dolls, but this is one of the bags that I was going to be selling, um, that I'm going to be selling. Someone is interested in it, so... Um, there's uh, two other bags I actually have up for sale on my Etsy shop, so you can check that out. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's a two-sided conjoined twin witch purse. Uh, protection. The pentagram is the symbol of protection. So um, what I recently worked on to go with it, oh, I brought it over here. Okay. I wanted to dangle some beads off of it on the, on the bottom. I thought that would look nice. So I decided I'm going to make some beads from some of the recycled fabric I have, um, and here we go. I made some skull beads, some fabric skull beads. So what I'm going to do is um, probably attach a jump ring to the, the top and the bottom of it so I can just attach them on the bottom of the purse. So it'll be as simple as that. Yeah, these take a bit to make. They don't take as long as the other heavily embroidered beads that I make, but these take a bit to make. And I'll put them up on my Etsy, not my Etsy, I'll put them up on my Facebook and Instagram and Twitter so you can see better pictures of them and what they look like. It's basically recycled fabric cloth beads, skull beads. You can call them beads or just call them whatever. You can make them into charms too to create your own necklace if you wanted to. But I'm using it to adorn... Um, this purse. <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you guys the progress on it and what I've been doing with it. I made a whole bunch of these uh, the other day. Yesterday I didn't have any time to work on art. I was so busy doing all kinds of other, you know, everyday mu mu uh, life, mundane stuff. But yeah. So here, yeah. yeah. And I made quite a bit of these. I want to finish making more of these because I want to work on this purse completely today and 
have it finished because the person that's interested in it wants to purchase it on the third. So we'll see what happens. Uh, <clears throat> so, so I made a bunch of them. Let me see if I can put them in my hand so you can see them better that way. Get a sampling of what it looks like. Or not. <laughs> Let's see. Be Vanna White here. I'm definitely not Vanna White. But anyway, you get the point. I'll, I'll put up some photos of them. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been making these fabric beads. Each one of them can take quite a bit to make, uh, time to make. And that's why I say it's a nice, relaxing thing to do, to make make things from recycled fabrics. Because when you're using recycled fabrics and you're working by hand, it takes a lot longer than most projects. Like, people can zip through this with a sewing machine. But some of these things can't be done with the sewing machine. Some of these things have to be d done with ha by hand. You can't do it with the sewing machine. And that's where a lot of personal touch comes into the mix when you're making and crafting these one-of-a-kind types of purses or handbags. This one, see, it even has a zipper on the top where you can put your stuff in there easily. And I've been still uh, making these type of beads, these uh, pentagram. I was trying to make these pentagram be beads too, the pentagram uh, embroidered over the the tiger or zebra stripe um, design. It's not so easy to do that. I keep moving my hands. I'm sorry. I'm trying to give you the. Here it is. Yep. So that's just a few of the beads that I've been making. It takes a while to make fabric beads, because these kind of fabric beads, for obvious reasons. But yeah, um, just adding some final touches to it, and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing. This is a big part of it. Is the um, is the is the strap that's going to be the biggest part to finish. But I like the look of that though. So, but yeah, I just thought I'd share with you guys some um, ideas for upcycle, recycle, wearable art. I'm wearing something right now that's considered that. I attach this. <laughs> it, it fits kind of differently, but when I finish, finally get the finishing touches on it, I'll show you completely what it looks like. But I thought I'd try it on today, see what it, how it is. Um, I connected this shirt, this homemade shirt that I made, onto. I just put a skirt onto it, which is made from a recycled shirt, and it's nice and cool for the summer. It's a nice little summer dress. I need to do some uh, fixing up of it, but otherwise, I like it. It's it's really nice and cool. So that's another example of upcycle recycled um, wearable art. You can check out my past videos where I showed how I make this shirt. Um, yeah, it's nice and cool for the summer. I added a skull on there, embroidered skull on there, because <laughs> I like skulls. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing for upcycle recycled uh, wearable art today, and that's what I'm doing working on this one specific project, so I can finish that and then uh, move on to the next. So I'm been practicing, you know, staying uh, more on just one project at a time and finishing it and then uh, either selling it on my Etsy shop or outside of my Etsy shop. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today for today's show. Um, I hope this inspires you to do something creative and inspires you to recycle as well. Um, there's just so much that you can do with recycled fabrics as I've shown you. And you can check out my past videos where I give you examples on what you can do with recycled fabric. You know, you could take little fabric dolls and attach them to your, your fabric bags. and You could even put dolls onto your clothing. Um, I have yet to do that. I mean, this is the closest I got, is this embroidered skull. But I have not attached dolls onto my clothing yet. <laughs> it will be in the future, and when it, when it happens, I'll let you know. Because <laughs> I thought it would be cool to make an outfit where it's all made with dolls on it. It would be so... I don't know. I just I think it would be so so cool to see. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> I'm drinking some turmeric slash lime juice slash um, herb tea. <laughs> and it is delicious. Alrighty guys, I hope this inspires you guys to be creative and recycle and upcycle whenever you can. And um Share with me your, God, it's so dark here. 
sorry, <laughs> share with me your your um, ideas and what you've been doing to upcycle and recycle because uh, there's so many fun things you can do with all these fabrics and you can have fun with your kids and your friends and your family members. Um, it's just dark in here. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I see I have over 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'll probably do a video just about that uh, maybe tomorrow on Sunday. And um, yeah, take care of you guys, of yourselves. <laughs> Mercury retrograde is still going, so communication is kind of lacking. <laughs> but thanks for joining me. I hope it does inspire me showing you my artwork. I hope it does inspire you to do something creative and to have fun and to do something that takes the stress away from your life for a little bit. That's what our therapy is all about. So that's what I'm all about. So thanks for joining me today. Brightest blessings to you all and I'll see you soon.